Seven people are in custody after a major drug bust at the historic Reed House Hotel early this morning. Chattanooga police responded to the hotel about 5.30 due to reports of suspicious activity in the building. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Tanisha Cordell is following the story and joins us live with more. Tanisha. Yes, David. So I've just this is just in. Federal agents are now getting involved with this investigation. I'm told the last suspect has just been interviewed. Now we're still awaiting names and still waiting more details on what exactly happened. But this is what we know so far. Now around 5:30 this morning, police found six ounces of meth, more than twenty thousand dollars in cash, and two loaded weapons in a suspect room. Now one of the suspects um, had booked this room, booked one of the rooms first, and had been staying in there for several days. Now. One of the officers tells us they had noticed suspicious activity before they even entered the room. When the responding officers got on scene, they went to a room that had been previously reported, knocked on the door, and immediately heard flushing, which is an indicator of drug activity. Lieutenant Jerry Sutton has served the force for about 18 years, so drug busts aren't anything new to her. But this one was far from routine. Around 5.30 a.m., officers found large amounts of meth and cash and two loaded guns inside a room at the Reed House. One of the seven suspects had booked the room for several days. Most of the time you get um, street level uh, recoveries of maybe a few ounces, uh, a few joints, or maybe a few lines of um, cocaine or maybe even a small bottle of methamphetamine but we're talking about bags. Hotel General Manager Ken Merkel says his staff told him they saw some suspicious activity prior to the bust. Several employees, including our security staff, uh, noticed some suspicious activity, uh, people coming and going in the lobby and up to one of the rooms. He says no other guests were involved or hurt. There wasn't much impact to the guest. Uh, we tried to make sure that, that was con anything was contained. Uh, the police handled that very efficiently. It was a shocking incident at an historic landmark, but Burkle says he's pleased with the response of his staff and police and is grateful things are back to normal. We feel really comfortable and really good that uh, that we were able to identify something that was not correct and then correct that situation and we'll be able to uh, move ahead. Now, officers tell us the suspect, suspects were both male and female. Now, of the seven arrested, five of them are previously convicted felons, and at least four of them are meth traffickers. Uh, now, this is a developing story. We'll, of course, bring you more updates as they become available. But for now, live downtown, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.